All right, let's see how this goes. I'll see if I can do a bit of Zoom uh, stuff so that I can uh, talk a little bit um, broader area, but primarily this is going to be about the 14th core, and I'm glad I'm doing this video because they're going to it's going to remind me how important I want, well, how much I want to incorporate uh, reconnaissance come um, January 1915. This is just crazy. But I will say this from now on, the way I'm going to play it, uh, maybe either side, but certainly the Germans, is uh, the Germans are never going to make an attack um, unless, uh, you know, obviously I'm converting this into game thing, like, but I mean, you're not going to say it narratively this way, but... Um, as long as we can ensure two hits, uh, I'm 100% I'm, I'm not going to um, uh, do an attack. Uh, it's, a, it's as simple as that, because this is just driving me up the tree. That and the fact that there was no reconnaissance. I was convinced, yeah. I, so I'm going to need two hits um, to take the... We're going to get to this uh, bit in a minute, like I said. Uh, I think you can just barely see it over here. So that's where Falkenhayn and the Kaiser have met with um, Hindenburg and Ludendorff and Charles Tortoise in uh, Danzig. Uh, that was at the bequest of uh, Ludendorff and Hindenburg to uh, see if they can get um, the reserve uh, Festung Infantry Divisions released because they think they've got a plan of, of taking out the Russians quick. Uh, but their version of their plan um, is not in keeping with the political will, uh, which is uh, a, a, a focus towards East Prussia, to get the Russians out of East Prussia more so than anything. Uh, they're, how would you say it, um, very short-sighted, I guess you could say. Uh, and these guys are like, no, look, you know, anyways, that's, that's the way it's going to happen. So the, yes, there will be uh, the Festung Infantry Divisions will be released, but they're going to go to the 9th Army, not this turn, next turn. Uh, so already there's, uh, the way I'm playing it anyway, this is Ludendorff and Hindenburg are already trying to figure out some other ways of bending the rules later on when the Kaiser and Falkenhayn uh, go back to, uh, uh, you know, Berlin and all that stuff. Um, try to figure out a way to uh, bend the rules. But anyways, there we go. We're now off to the 14th Corps. Um, I'll show you the positions that uh, poor Schultz has been uh, directed to take. Um, poor guy. He's got a lot to do. And I just I screwed the pooch big time with this one. So um, because I just didn't realize, yet again, like I said, after this, it's going to have to be, I have to clue in. I'm going to keep on trucking here. Uh, we got to remember it's not too, too, but we don't, it's mostly, I just want to be, you guys to be able to see um, what's going, okay, here we go. So let me grab the uh, sheet so I can tell you what the heck's going on here. So um, Schultz over here, 14th Corps, that's where his headquarters is. Remember, this is all broken rail, this is all, you know, all uh, that type of th stuff we have to get, deal with at some uh, point in time later. Um, Moved over two Festung Infantry Divisions over to here. The first reserve, I do believe, and yes, and the tenth. So this is actually, I think, going to be the very first time that uh, Fortress or Festung Infantry Divisions um, have gone into a combat solely. I think they've uh, been um, in other combats, but never by themselves. Like this is like completely off. Anyways, these are the uh, the locations that. Um, Schultz has been tasked to take by the end of November. Um, uh, 1820, yeah, I, originally it was 1819 too, and it, there was like a bit of back and forth, like, like, come on, man, this is getting ridiculous. So uh, he's, he's got to take this position, this position, this position, and this position. Uh, my, the best bet for, best bang for my buck, if you want to call it that, would have been uh, for Schultz to go up against this uh this uh, go up against these Russians due to the fact it's all clear terrain from this side uh, and the adjacent hex sides are also clear so there would have been no die roll uh, modifiers on either side which would have been great because uh, 
due to the fact that it's a core HQ. Uh, the core HQ can only a uh, maximum supply uh, supply is uh, two attacking um, supply points, which uh, equates to eight strength points. And there you go. Um, so we're going up against eight, but the way I was do doing it, I wanted to get narrative and I was like, okay, this is a bit closer to the rail uh, position here. So I have to deal with the broken train. At least I don't have to deal with the woods over here. I was thinking, oh wow, if I can get these guys to force a retreat, look at all these zones of control issues and, and surrounding uh, possibilities I've opened up and this isn't this awesome and so on and so forth. And away I went and I've committed, it's too late. Uh, the uh, the inf uh, Festung Infantry Divisions were moved over here. Uh, they have five movement, thank goodness. I uh, wasn't sure about that, but they do. So they both made it to here. Uh, and that's it. Uh, I did, oh yeah, on a side note here, there's no combats over here. We're all going to, like I said, I, I screwed the pooch over here by uh, moving these guys. And now they're five hexes um, uh, movement points away from the... Um, uh, from their supplying headquarters, and that would have been a reduction in their um, uh, effective uh, attacking capabilities. So that, that isn't going to happen. All right, so there we go, and it sucks because uh, wait until you see the uh, I can't force a retreat, which is exactly what I wanted to do, and that's why I said I'm just dry. It's this is just driving me up the flipping tree. Uh, so here we go. I'll give. I'll. I'll. Uh, this is the way it goes, man. So this is the uh, the German 8th Army, 14th Corps, going up against the Russian 2nd Army. And it's the 1st Reserve Festung Infantry Division, like I said, and the 10th Festung Infantry Division. And they've both got four strength points each. They're going up against um, the, uh, the 152nd Infantry Division over here. And you can see, where the heck are they? Uh, <laughs> they've, got, they've got five strength points. Um, and the Russians are defending across broken terrain, so that's minus one to the attacker die roll. There will be no modifier for the defender die roll. Um, yep, and it sucks. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, Schultz is about to blow as low. Uh, like, uh, that's it, all the supply here. I'll get rid of this. That's the way it goes. Damn it. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna, from now on in, I think I'm just gonna attack a uh, uh, 100% chance that I've got uh, I do two hits because this is just just driving me up the tree. It's just uh, it's frustrating, man. It really is frustrating because it. I find what happens now is like, like, yeah. I the, what is my contingency plan? I don't have one, kind of thing. It sucks. All right, so I've done that um, because uh, they're supplying. Um, it's going to be eight attacking strength points. Like I said, here goes with the die roll. Uh, there's a zero percent chance I can inflict two hits. Uh, remember I said with the broken terrain, it's minus one. Uh, there's the eight. There's nothing I can do. But I was convinced that uh, for some bizarre reason that, it, that uh, a one hit would have uh, forced them to a, do a retreat. What I should have done was really clued in. Uh, it is a bit of a reconnaissance here. That's the second army, for goodness sakes. That's part of the Warsaw Front. Uh, these guys have seen no action in eons, man. Eons. These guys are the ones that have been scrambling like crazy, trying to, uh, to plug up holes uh, with anything they can get. I should have clued in, but I didn't. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. Of course, when I randomly uh, was doing some other stuff and threw the dice back in, it hit a six. I was like, you got to be joking. Most of the day today when I was doing other stuff, dropping the dice in, it kept rolling low. It's like, well, if I was playing Charles the Torres White Death, this would be great. I'd be just, you know, nailing everything left, right, and center. But that ain't the case. Here we go. Ah, oh, for crap. I think it's a 100% chance I do a hit. Um, like one hit. So that's, uh, yeah, I don't think there's a... Yeah, so one hit. Um, they're not forced to retreat which uh, they wouldn't do anyway, so why would they? And um, the Russians are not going to be counter uh, uh, supplying the counter-attack. They don't have any supply anyways, which means uh, that goes down to, uh, it would be down to a, well, let's do it for fun. Hold on here. So that would be down to, uh, down to a two and a half um, because it's unsupplied. It still gets tripled though for the counter-attack because uh, they were not forced to retreat. Um, so that's up to a seven and a half. I always go for the defender's favor, which means it's rounded up. 
and they get an 8. So now they're going to be just like the uh, Germans. Uh, they get to uh, they get to go on the 8 table uh, with no modif uh It's just straight up. And I think they get a 1 as well. I think that's all that's going to end up happening. Yep, they don't get it. There's no chance of them getting a plus 1. So if they were in like woods or something. Yeah, and they got a 1. And so they get a hit. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you probably can't. Sorry. Uh, the best angle. But uh, yep, that's it. So that was kind of like, I don't know. Pretty wasteful, I guess, in some ways. I mean, both uh, both end up taking a hit. Um, I guess I could say uh, it was the first time. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have to learn. Like I said, um, only make attacks if I can uh, guarantee uh, two hits. It's because I have to start. Uh, yet I've mentioned this before. Uh, the Russians. I have to adapt to what the Russians have been doing, and the Russians have started to use that little trick of uh, ensuring that um, I have to at least do two hits on uh, on them uh, to force a retreat because they've, they they are woeful due to the fact that you need one third. But due to that fact, um, they've only got so many strength points to go around. But as we have starting to clo in historically or whatever with the Russians, that's uh, what they keep doing. They just keep using people to make up for uh, lack of whatevers. Okay, that's it. Um, I'm off to uh, do the rest here. I'll uh, zoom out quickly and see what this... Uh, yeah, hold on, see if I get it right. Yay, I did, okay. Yep, so now I'll be off to uh, figure out who's uh, where the, these reinf... Oh my gosh, that's I did actually, uh, on a side note, he's gonna be sending um, a message back to 8th uh, Eighth Army because he knows full well. Schultz knows full well. I mean, he's so, he so needs, inf he needs uh, troops, big time. Uh, so what I'm actually going to be asking for is uh, some of this juicy cavalry that's coming over here. I know there's only like three divisions left and cavalry right now is pretty valuable. But I think this is the, uh, there's no effing way uh, infantry are going to be able to get uh, get here in any time, like within uh, in a couple of weeks or whatever, and be uh, effective. There's just, it's just, not, yeah, there's just, but the cavalry could. Uh, I'm pretty darn sure, so that would be nice just to maybe plug up a zone of control uh, thing if we ever do manage to. Uh, oh, brother. I just, I don't think I can do it anymore. I don't think I have any more. Um, shoot. Like, how in the world am I supposed to hammer away at that? Yep, I'm going to have to ask for some reinforcements. They're going to have to send me, um, have to send me something. Because that's, uh, I can't, uh, I gotta get, I gotta get, I gotta get back to at least one hit and start whittling these guys down. It's just, oh well, it's part of life. Alright, see ya.